caught in the crossfire. It's caught in the crossfire. So what's up guys? I am here at my buddy's dad's property. Um going to start my new car. Um, like I said, it does need uh, some work. Um, I'm going to give a big shout out to Zach. Thank you for the car, bro. And I'm happy that you're good with all the stuff that I gave you for this car. And I'm glad that they're all doing good. So um, I'm going to let you guys check this car out. And I'm going to try to start it up so I can move it further back into the property. So let's go ahead and do this. So here's the new car. It's not new, but it's new to me. Um, as you can see, the front end needs some work on it. Um, I do need a new windshield. Um, apparently, uh, they were driving down the road and the latch gave out and came up and smashed the window. As you can see, the actual scoop on the hood matches perfectly right here with the glass cracked. So. Um, I'm going to be going to Wisconsin uh, sometime in the next couple of months or whatever, probably, I don't know, and get a new windshield. <clears throat> Down here needs a little bit of patching and touch up. No big deal. Obviously, the car needs to be painted, which is fine. I'm going to repaint this whole entire car. Um, I'm going to be taking this off and probably giving it back to my buddy. Um, yes, we are now friends, which is awesome. So he's happy that uh, he got to met, uh, meet me and I'm happy I got to meet him and his girlfriend or fiance. I'm sorry, Zach, if I'm getting that wrong. I know you're watching this probably now, but I will be giving you this back. Um, this is the inside of the car. Um, there's a couple panels missing on the inside, I guess. So I got to replace some of those. Um, as you can see, I got to get some caps for the doors. Um, I got to get the windows, um, get this. And as you can see, the inside is a little messed up, but I don't care. It's what the engine is. So, um, as you can see, I got a fuel pump here that I have to turn on for two seconds and then turn it off and then start the car and then turn this back on and then turn on the fans. Very complicated, but I know how to hook up back. I know how to rewire the fans back to the actual car system and, and the actual fuel pump. So these two will be gone. Um, I'm gonna put a brand new stereo in here. I'm gonna rip all this out of here, actually get a frame for it, get the cover that it needs. Um, these things can just come right off actually because I don't need these up here anymore. These are really duct taped down. Holy shit. These are our little uh, defrosters for the window because the heating core is out on this, which is fine. I'll replace that too as well. Um, let's see what else. Oh, yes. The top of this is missing, which is fine. I'll probably uh, leave that alone for a little bit because I'm actually going to put a roll bar in here. Um, I just now noticed that their speaker is missing back there, which is fine. I don't care. I got infinities I can put back there. Um, this looks like the back for the trunk. And then let's see, I wonder if I can pop this trunk. Ah, uh, that's the hood. Where's the trunk? Holy shit, is there really no trunk latch for the trunk? It's gone. Holy shit, that's where it's supposed to go right there, and it's gone. Um, oh yeah, and the e-brake. I gotta get a new e-brake, which is no big deal. I found a couple on eBay for an oil e-brake. So, but that's the back. Like I said, guys, this car needs a lot of work, but it's mostly all body and inside interior work, which is fine because I know how to do all of this. So there's the inside. Now, oh yeah, by the way, he was going to take those, but I gave him such a good deal. He ended up letting me keep those. Thank you, Zach. Seriously, thank you. And just so you know, you and your fiance are the two most awesome people I've ever met. <laughs> you guys are great. Um, now let's see if I can get the hood on latch here somewhere. If I can. Holy crap. I don't think I can now. 
Holy smokes. All right, guys, I got to be right back. Okay, I got the latch undone. But there's the engine. It's got a brand new starter. Um, brand new radiator. Basically, this thing looks freaking brand new. Like, it's clean. Even the engine is pretty much clean. But, <clears throat> I will be coming back in here and putting in new spark plugs. Um, new filters, probably. Um, probably a better box for the battery to be covered. And like I said, all of this wiring all through here would have to be all rewired. As you can see, even the fan is off of a switch. Um, there's a wire harness right there, and the fan uh, harness is completely cut off. So like I said, all of that can be redone. But I'm going to see if I can get this thing started. Okay. Right, the right side there. All right, I could do that. So, like I said, two seconds with the fuel pump. One, two, off. And then this is the start button. Let's see if I can get it in there. Nope. Nothing. It's completely dead. Yes, it is completely dead. I think. One. Two, three. Yes, <laughs> it is completely dead. Yes, the fan's not even coming on, so it's completely dead. So I'm going to have to charge this up and uh, get it moving because <laughs> it's, it's completely dead. So I'm going to have to get a jump of cables and see if I can move this thing. Be right back. So as you can see, this is my old gauge uh, from my other Eclipse. Um, it looks like it will fit. Um, I might have to pull the dash off or something, or I might just cut it to fit. But up here, it fits. So I'm going to use my uh, 2003 Mitsubishi Eclipse uh, gauge port holder for my door for my 1995 Mitsubishi Eclipse. So that will be definitely awesome to have in the car for all my gauges. Let's me know how much oil. Let's see. I have boost, voltage, and water. So those will be going right here. And then I have a couple other gauges that I might custom make down here or right here. Since these already have holes in them, I might as well just got out this whole thing and redo it but other than that guys um this is my new car um i gotta go get jump up cables and see if i can get it started up and if i can get it started up i would do another one real fast other than that i'll be right back so i finally got this thing started now i just gotta move it as you can see it's all started it's running and the engine is actually a lot quieter than I'm used to. So we'll go ahead and move it back. <laughs> so this thing is like wicked loud. So I parked it right there behind my, or in front of my pop's van and my buddy's truck. So. She's underneath some trees, nice and safe. And it's gonna be a slow progress, but definitely love the car. Thank you, Zach. Other than that, guys, peace out. For you new people watching this, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I will be back as soon as I can. I'm out.